I began to yearn for a less sterile, less academic way to address these issues, the issues that I was talking about. We'd begun to focus on New Hampshire as a target for this political movement because the primary in New Hampshire is so incredibly important. There was a group called the New Hampshire Rebellion that was beginning to talk about how would we make this issue of this corruption central in 2016. This is a revival, a revival. 15 years ago, this state was at the center of a national movement. Granny D on January 1st started her walk from LA to Washington, 13 months later arriving at the age of 90. In June of 1999, 15 years ago, John McCain came to Bedford and said his campaign was about the system of corruption in Washington cross-partisan national campaign to bring America to focus on this critical issue. Now, they were ahead of their times. And what we have to do is to revive their movements, to revive their movements. So in 2016, just, well, Japheth could throw it that far, I couldn't, but the stones throw away from here, the very first votes are cast for a candidate who has made this his or her issue. No one likes no one likes Congress. What's Congress's approval rating right now? Like two percent or something? Yeah. You know, why do you Pretty think that there. is? It's because they're not trying to yeah. make us happy. They're trying yeah. to make the money happy. Yeah. So hey, if you bump into a presidential candidate in a year or two, would you yeah. mind asking him a question for us? Sure. What are they going to do about the corruption in DC? Can you make yeah. that your first question? I will. Great. I, you know what? They'll probably lie to me, but <laughs> <laughs> you, know, oh, yeah. you just got to look at them and you got to say, "Well, hey, I got one question for you first, or you got my vote. What are you going to do about the corruption in Washington?" That's not like something you could do if you ever met one of those guys. If I could, ever met one, sure. Yeah, if they ever come over here. <laughs> and I can tell you they're going to stumble on their face and not have an answer. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, well, that's the whole goal. <laughs> well, if you'll do that, man. Isn't it, isn't it fun to watch them do that? That's the whole point. Can I ask you a quick question? Try me. How do you feel about the corruption in Washington, D.C.? It's bad. I'm a small business owner of 22 years in Gorham, and it's awful. Yeah. You know, I'm in Congress, and I know we can't reform ourselves from within. We need all of you to do this. And the money that's coming is corrupting the process, and it's corrupting our democracy. But um, I, I really think that the strategy of focusing on the primary here in New Hampshire is exactly right. And, you know, we'd love to figure out a way to work together. Yeah. yeah. Set up that beginning, obviously. But... See, if you know how politics works, you're wasting your time doing anything but this. So there's no way you're going to win on any other issue if you don't win on this issue. People are really cynical right now. They feel like their voice isn't being heard in Washington, that really big money is the one that runs the show. You know, the fix is in. They're frustrated by that. They think, and they're right, they think that it affects the kind of public policy that gets made. Yeah, well, the idea is if we can begin to seed in the minds of New Hampshire voters that they have an opportunity and a responsibility um, to redirect the focus of the presidential campaign, to make the presidential candidates address this issue uh, and begin a conversation about how, in fact, this hopelessness that most people feel could be uh, remedied. Um, uh, then, in a competitive presidential race, my belief is some candidates would respond. 